The Adfrith Bishop of Lindisfarne is my design innovator role model. Many historians believe he was the scribe and illustrator of the Lindisfarne Gospels. I chose him because I'm a huge fan of patterns and rich colors in design. I've studied the Lindisfarne Gospels before, and what still inspires me the most about e Eatfrith's work are number one, his choice of colors, and secondly, the intricate details in the ornamentation. The combinations of red, yellow, blue, green on the pages are marvelous to me. I've read that the ink used to decorate the pages ranged from vegetable dyes to suit. I absolutely love the colors. They are beautiful. As I look at the type of the type carefully on the pages, I see birds and what seem to be other creatures surging out some of the letters. The attention to details is not spared on any page. Yadfrith obviously spent an insurmountable amount of time creating complexity in every design. I read that it took a span of years to complete the book with time lapses. The more I read about how this book was made, the more I am fascinated. Iad Frith was identified by many titles. He was a monk, a saint, Saint Iad Frith, and a bishop, Bishop of Lindisfarne. Other than being known as the artist and the calligrapher of the Lindisfarne Gospels, little is known about his family, place of birth, or where he got his training as an artist or a scribe. My guess would be that Eadfrith would describe himself as an innovator of his time. Not only was he inspirational through his art, the last 20 years of his life he dedicated to promoting the cult of St. Cuthbert. So Eadfrith was a leader as well as an innovator. I would say Eadfrith's modus operandi for the Lindisfarne Gospels was Celtic patterns similar to work illustrated in the Book of Kells. I am particularly fascinated by the red dotted crisscross lines that appear to be a faint background for the Latin script. This happens to be my most favorite detail on the written pages. I read that those red patterns are drops of red lead. I am very detail oriented, so given the era of the Lindisfarne Gospels, I was particularly interested in the art resources available during that time. I read that Iac Frith was influenced by several artists, but I do wonder how much of the Lindisfarne Gospels was from influence versus his pure imagination. His muse was probably the Christian religious designs of the Eastern Mediterranean region from that time period. Historians believe it took Eadfrith nearly 10 years to create the Lindisfarne Gospels. His work is an example of the idea that innovation takes time and success doesn't happen overnight. Many great innovators take years to create something truly inspiring. He didn't give up and his diligence was well worth the 10 years.